Welcome back everyone. So today we are going to be talking about how to emit particles from a curved surface or from a curve basically. So I'm going to quickly go into the FX menu. We are already in FX menu. And from here what you can do is either you can simply go to create polygon primitives and from here uh, nerve primitives and you can take a circle square or what you can do is go to curve tool, take a CV curve tool and maybe switch uh, the overall view to top view and quickly draw a simple curve. Oh, sorry something like this maybe and go to your perspective view and right click control vertex with this selected hit w and simply move the uh, vertices around the space to just add some randomness to the overall spline here and i think i'm going to keep it to somewhere right about here so this is what you have normal curve and this looks pretty good. I'm going to go to the object mode. Let's bring this on about here. So this is our basically curve. Let's turn out the grid. So what you have to do is select a curve, go to end particles. And from here, we are going to say emit from object. If we select this and if we hit play, you'll notice that the particles are being emitted from all the vertices that we have on our curve. So instead, what I'm going to say is I want this on a curve. So if I play this back, now the curve is emitting the particles. So what you can do is you can have something like maybe a ceiling curve or something. If you want a particle to be emitted from that, you can also use this to generate some kind of fire embers on a specific places. So you can use the curve to kind of emit particles from certain areas. So this is what we have right now. I'm going to increase the particle rate. There you go. So let's quickly decrease our gravity to zero. And now we have particle emitting something like this. So also let's so make it self collide. I think that should do some interesting thing. And there you go. And let's add a turbulence. So let's add turbulence. Let's make it 15. And now you have curve that is emitting your particles. This is pretty fun. And again, if you want to add some random color, all you have to do is go to your particle, right click, add new material, go to hypershade and uh, graph network. Uh, we have already covered this in the last video, but if you don't remember this, I'm going to quickly show this and add a color jitter, connect it to the base color and simply go to the base and you can add, just give one random color to this. And there you go. So have fun with this, play around with this, and just give it a nice color. And if you go to the Arnold, and uh, let's take a simple directional light. There you go. And maybe increase the exposure to one and add some samples. So if you think the particle is not too much, what you can do is, maybe let's close this. What you can do is quickly go to the shading. It'll take a multi-streak. And if you play this now, you'll have something like this, which looks pretty amazing. So from here, you can go back to Arnold and you have tons of multi streak particles. So that was it. This is how you can use N particles with curve, with any type of curve. And this is pretty useful when you are dealing with certain type of scene where you want specific particles to be emitted from certain areas. So what you can do is quickly draw a curve and then you can emit those particles from that curve. So you can add some gravity and so on. So have fun with this, play around with this and that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.